Bettenzweil. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Betty Slap video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't so to uh, support this channel and to make this channel grow. Today we're gonna make something for the Dremel. Dremel makes pretty decent accessories in my opinion, but there is one thing which is just horrendous, and that's these things. The barrel sanders drum sanders okay whenever you have a drum on there it's fine but whenever you want to get it on there just forget it and yes if I take the screw off and I take the rubber piece off I can squish it more the drum will not go on there the fun starts whenever you need to change those things and I know that Dremel makes the easy uh, click uh, barrels as well so for their new system I don't know how good they are but we're gonna fix this by 3D printing so I designed this it's based on the adapters that you can get for the larger drums so the ones that you can get for in the drill for example or uh, those those air grinders that like uh, the they have like uh, six millimeter shafts and they uh, they also have like bigger bigger versions of these uh, holders. But I tried to, I decided to mini miniaturize them so they will fit on the Dremel, and you can get the drums off really easily. I will now take you over to uh, my computer in order to look at the design. Okay, here we are in the CAD. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is a chamfer in here for the head of the screw, so preventing it from uh, protruding from the from the actual uh, attachment itself. Um, whenever this spins counterclockwise, it's made in such a way that the fins will help, uh, will actually push outwards and prevent the drum from uh, from slipping. And all the edges are chamfered. And that's uh, because if you're gonna print, the first layer usually gets squashed, and you can compensate for that. I know, but in general, if you give the edges some chamfers, you don't need to compensate for it because then all the plastic what might be squished outward will not block the hole or will not uh, protrude from these uh, fins. So actually, the barrel can push on uh, nice and snug. So now uh, we're gonna go to Cura and uh, I will uh, learn you some tips, tips and tricks for uh, regarding slicing this model. Okay, here we are in Cura and first of all make sure your uh, fill gaps between walls is set to nowhere because you don't want the, uh, the seemingly like created pockets in here to be uh, filled by the slicer itself because like your your nozzle will probably cover this and will actually like overlap a little bit so it looks like it's a hollow space but in reality it isn't so that's one also you see here I have two models and that's not because I want to make two of them but this is because if you have a small model which uh, with a lot of like relative movement of the nozzle over the same part so the heater, the heater block is constantly moving over the part you want a second part next to it so you have the benefits of the cooling fan but you don't have the heater block directly hovering over your part so it's actually kind of a neat trick so you get a little bit of more printing time but in reality it saves you a lot of uh, hassle because of fill prints or something and now if you do this method you also have two parts so if one part has like a, a small damage or a small defect you have the other one so that's a nice ti tip um, well just use the skirt and don't use any raft or something because it's like impossible to clean up for this model and for the rest 100% infill uh, nozzle kind of hot like uh, 200 degrees for PLA or 205 should be uh, should be fine and 
the layer height should be set to uh, a quite high layer height, so quite coarse, because you want the maximum uh, layer adhesion. And the more layers you have, the more chance you have uh, for parts to break off. Because ideally you want to make this from uh, nylon or uh, PETG or ABS because it's much stronger. But uh, for just regular use, the PLA sending drums uh, attachment that you can print yourself are just fine. So yes, now we're going to move to the printer and actually print a couple of these and then test fit them and demonstrate them. Sorry about the noise, I have a fan running in my room because it's uh, 30 degrees Celsius out, uh, outside and this apartment is being uh, fired by sun rays all day so it's like 27 degrees inside and as I mentioned in my uh, previous videos my uh, 3D printer is water cooled and the uh, uh, ticking sound you hear is actually uh, a membrane bump. So. We're gonna load the file, put in the SD card, go to print, and then we have the Dremel uh, sanding drum. So I now need to uh, wait for the uh, printer to heat up. In the meanwhile, we're gonna apply some 3D lac. This stuff is awesome. It uh, helps your parts stick really well and they will actually pop loose really easy whenever the bed cools down. Well, here we are, back from the printer, as you can see, print is done. However, I designed the holes to be 0.2 millimeters larger than the actual diameter, but because of the over extrusion or the smearing or whatever, the hole is still not large enough. So, this shaft is 3.2 millimeters in diameter, but I will just use a 3.5 millimeter drill bit because it's more available than a 3.2. Don't do what I I'm gonna do right now. That's holding this in my hand and then drilling it because that's gonna ruin your hands. But hey, I don't have a vice uh, near to me right now. Make sure you stop, clear out the chips a little bit, and continue. PLA is quite um, susceptible to heat, so if you drill in one go, then you probably heat it up too much. Go to the other side. And now the adapter <coughs> should fit, which it does. Now we can take the screw, put it in there, tighten it up, like this. Put it in the Dremel. Getting a drum. There's one inside here, so I'm gonna push that out. And as you can see, it's gonna go quite stuck in the beginning, but it will get looser over time. Like that. And there you go. Perfectly fine. No protruding screw. Easy removal. No more hassle. 
And whenever the part wears out, you just print another one because they're so small, they cost next to nothing. And no more frustration with these bits of garbage. I will upload this model to Kults 3D. I will put the name uh, on screen because uh, Thingiverse is kind of crumbling down and that's why I'm uploading to their website. I can also ask money for my uh, designs. So some designs are paid, but this one is completely free for everyone to download. And as always, thanks for watching and remember just try to DIY.